2018 Jaguar XF 2018 Jaguar XF Review British design, an abandoned cabin and modern features provide 2018 Jaguar XF luxury driving appeal. 3.5 star overall score The 2018 Jaguar XF is usually a mid-sized luxury sedan that can be a refreshingly different option on the list of popular and ubiquitous German staples with the class. It may not generate world-beating performance, however its lighter-weight all-aluminum chassis and suspension offer the XF great road feel. It's available in six trim levels, with four engine choices, and either rear or all-wheel drive drive at reins, so that you can dial within the exact experience you are looking for. Compared for your typical luxury sedan, the XF has more charisma and pomp. Its shift select arises from your center console once you fire up the engine, and its particular interior materials and colors are generally attractive and warm. Styling and build quality are typical top-notch and punch on top of the XF's price bracket. And in regards to size, it's on par in interior volume, nevertheless it edges out others in terms of trunk volume. If there were to point out to weakness, it could be its infotainment system and, particularly, its poor smartphone integration. But altogether, the XF is often a good package, stylish, roomy and enjoyable drive an automobile. What's new? The 2018 Jaguar XF is actually a carryover model from 2017 with some added features. Changes happen to be made towards the selectable drive modes to allow for more customization while more safety and assist features are actually added to your advanced driver assistance system. We think the XF portfolio combined with the 35 tons engine, 3.0-litre supercharged V6, 340 horsepower, provides the best combination of features as well as throw inside driver assistance package, and it also comes with every one of the gadgets and luxury accoutrements you might ask for. Compared to sportier XF variants, the portfolio provides ample passing power while cosseting you using a smooth and quiet ride. Trim Levels and Features The Jaguar XF can be purchased in six trim levels, Base, Premium, Prestige, R-Sport, Portfolio and S. The Premium and Prestige trims create the base trim with additional standard features and even more available options. The R-Sport adds all the more luxury features along with an R-Sport specific body kit. At the most notable, you are able to go one of two ways. For luxury, the portfolio includes almost every option as standard. Additionally, on the other side, the S maximizes performance which has a high output engine. A number of different engines and powertrains are for sale to all trims, while using exception from the S model. As a performance oriented sedan, even the bottom XF is included with Jaguar's drive mode, an attribute that allows drivers to decide on various modes altering the steering, throttle response and transmission shift characteristics to be perfect the current road conditions. The base XF also is sold with a 380 watt Meridian surround a sound system plus an 8 inch Jaguar touch infotainment system. The premium trim adds driver seat memory settings, a 40 slash 20 slash 40 split folding rear seat a power adjustable steering column and power folding mirrors. Prestige models are upgraded to 19-inch wheels, a navigation system, keyless entry, heated front seats, a heated leader, back and front park assist, and leather seats with four-way lumbar adjustment. Further up will be the ass port. It adds adaptive headlights, contrasting seat stitching, blind spot monitoring and satellite radio. But the real reason to have the R-Sport is its unique visual touches including the two-tone interior package and the body kit, including a unique front bumper, blacked-out grille with satin chrome trim, extended rocker sills, satin chrome side vents plus a trunk spoiler. At the superior end are two distinct choices, the luxurious portfolio or even the performance-oriented S. The portfolio features 18-way power adjustable seats with 4-way lumbar support heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, a configurable ambient lighting system, a head-up display, and also a larger 10.2-inch touchscreen along with an 825-watt Meridian surround sound system.
The S includes 20 inch wheels with an S specific body kit, which includes back and front bumpers with gloss black accents, gloss black side sills, a trunk lid spoiler and badging. Also standard are adaptive and configurable dynamic systems, along with a suspension that adjusts instantly and lets you configure vehicle systems individually. For example, you might combine probably the most dynamic engine transmission setting using the softest suspension mode. The centerpiece with the S model may be the high output 380 horsepower supercharged V6, essentially the most powerful engine offered inside XF. All trims can be found in either rear or all-wheel drive. Base through portfolio trims could be equipped with weather 2.0 litre turbo diesel, 180 horsepower, 318 pounds to feet, or even a 2.0 litre turbocharged gasoline, 247 horsepower, 269 pounds to feet. Premium trims or more also offer the .0 litre supercharged V6, 340 horsepower, 332 pounds to feet, engine, as you move the higher output V6, 380 horsepower, 339 pounds to feet, is exclusive to your S. A few optional packages that you can get on most trim levels add some vision assist package, which includes adaptive LED headlights with auto high beam assist, this automatically dips the high beams in the event it senses oncoming traffic, front and back parking sensors, front collision mitigation, blind spot warning, and lane departure warning. The available technology package upgrades you in the 8 inch standard screen to at least one measuring 10.2 inches, adds navigation as well as the 825 watt meridian surround a sound system, and replaces the driver's analog instrument panel that has a large 12.3 inch digital display. And lastly, a cold climate package is additionally available which includes heaters for the front and back seats, tire, windshield and washer jets. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S on this review depend on our full test in the 2016 Jaguar XFS sedan, supercharged 3.0 liters V6, 8 speed automatic, RWD. Driving. Although less quick as V8 offerings within this segment, the XF really has a fun demeanor which make it interesting to operate a vehicle in a variety of situations. Whether you're using a back road or perhaps commuting to operate, it becomes an easy car to obtain comfortable with. Acceleration Its 3.0 liter supercharged V6 generates 380 horsepower and 339 pounds to feet and hustles the XF from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. That's not the quickest inside the class, but it really is greater than adequate for just about any passing or merging maneuver. Braking Medium travel along with a medium firm brake pedal keep a luxury driving feel inside XF. In a panic stop situation, the brakes performed well, slowing the Jaguar with a stop from 60 miles per hour in 116 feet. Good, considering it's all season tires. Steering the XF's electric assisted steering is tuned well. Initial turn in is a useful one but not quick. On center feel is sweet and progressively resistant since the wheel turns. Its default setting has adequate heft without getting obvious. Handling Stability control keeps the XF walking a straight line in normal conditions. But in dynamic mode its playful character emerges. Hard off throttle mid turn steps the trunk out effortlessly. Ease off and torque vectoring tightens your line. Drivability Easy drive an automobile in all situations. The 8 speed automatic transmission responds quickly when provoked, yet it remains smooth at low speeds, when leisurely shifts are preferred. Wheel mounted paddle shifters hold gears irrespective of mode. Comfort the XF straddles the queue between luxury and sport. The ride quality is about the stiffer side, though less as to certainly be a crutch. Meanwhile, the cabin remains quiet and isolated. Despite offering a good amount of space, the driver's seat is overly firm and will be a deal breaker for most. Seat comfort 
these seats are firm. We found a two-hour window of acceptable driving comfort prior to fidgeting began. Not everyone will to be familiar with long-haul friendly. The rear outboard seats are for adults and spacious in all of the directions. Ride comfort. As sports sedans go, the ride quality from the XF is acceptably stiff in S form. Its suspension absorbs road imperfections competently, whether small or large. Noise and vibration. Engine noise is non-existent at cruising speeds and nearly is muted at full throttle. The cabin remains quiet over most surfaces, though some suspension noise can be seen over bumps. It is quieter than others inside the segment. Climate control. With a set of dedicated buttons, the climate control technique is easy to make use of and effective. Seat heating is standard for the higher level models, or is usually equipped together with a cold weather package. Interior. Top quality materials extend throughout, giving the inside an appropriately luxurious feel. Infotainment is thoughtfully designed but lacks the finished information on competitors. What really sets the XF apart in the class is its trunk, and that is comparatively massive. Ease beneficial. The touchscreen infotainment layout is logical and convenient to use. Hard buttons bordering the interface offer some redundant controls and are also a welcome alternative. The navigation system on our test car froze many times. Getting in, getting out. The XF can be as easy to climb in and out of as any on this segment in the event the doors are open. They open fully but you are heavy. The optional soft close self-closing door feature helps. We did not have any issues in tight parking spaces. Driving position. While the XF may be considered a sports activity sedan, the driver's seating position is decidedly for the comfort side. The standard seat package lacks any kind additional seat bolstering, with only advanced level models offering adjustable lumbar support. Roominess. Front and rear headroom are much like most inside segment. Plenty of lateral space for many outboard passengers to have cozy. Three adults within the back seat isn't a real bad proposition, at the very least for a short period of energy. Visibility. Visibility is determined by seating position. Those sitting farther back will discover the side and rear roof pillars combined to generate one large driver side blind spot. Over the shoulder is okay, though. Multi-view cameras certainly are a big help. Quality. No building issues of note on our test car. Panels aligned properly and it also was clear of squeaks and rattles. Interior controls and switch gear don't quite contain the sturdiness and refinement of some others inside class. Utility. With a sizable trunk volume and sizable rear seats, the XF is really a good road trip companion. If you're traveling with youngsters, the XF are prepared for both front and rear facing child seats effortlessly. Small item storage. Most of the odds and ends will wind up inside the moderately sized door pocket or cup holder. There's a small recess within the climate control system, nevertheless it's not adequate for larger smartphones. Those have to go inside the center console arm rest. Cargo space. The trunk space is wide and deep, and goose snack trunk lid arms are recessed so as not to impede cargo loading. The pass-through dimensions are average, much like the number and depth of interior nooks. Child safety seat accommodation. Four isofix latch points are clearly marked behind plastic covers while three top anchor mounts are situated directly behind their respective headrest positions. Technology The XF's two primary infotainment systems utilize either an 8 or 12 inch display and control all functions apart from climate controls. We found the conventional functions for example audio and telephone user friendly, while navigation and connectivity lack dissimilar intuitive ease people. Audio and navigation 
with your selection of either 380 watt or 825 watt Meridian Digital Surround Sound Package, you'll be able to easily fill the cabin using the sounds you desire. Using the navigation system takes some patience, nonetheless it does become easier once you understand its logic. Smartphone Integration The standard XF comes only with Bluetooth as well as a USB hookup. Smartphone connectivity is handled by way of a proprietary app interface that's paired in an onboard subscription service hotspot. Driver Aids Most aids will come in side form from the Vision Assist package, which includes back and front park assist, adaptive LED headlights, blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning, and emergency braking. Unfortunately, this package is just not available on the bottom model. Voice Control the system processes commands related towards the entertainment system and telephone use, but nothing beyond that.